Hello guys. I was about to be finished for the day making videos, <laughs> but um, I got a lot of time, thankfully, and um, I don't want to end it without talking about Sonia Massey. Um, I hadn't said anything. I actually ran up on the video literally like by accident, like um, it wasn't as big as it was when, when I when I heard about it a, a, a few days ago at the time. And I don't remember what I what I was really thinking or feeling. I think I was just thinking and feeling uh, it's that time of season. Because I, I don't know if y'all has have ever really paid attention, but every time it gets hot in summer, black people start dying. And I want y'all to, I want y'all to, like, it, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen all the time anyway, but I'm just saying a lot of times the, the multiplication of black, uh, unalivings or what have you, um, usually is sometime in the summertime. If, if y'all go back and kind of look at the pattern of how things are, uh, but, uh, you know, that's personal to me. It's something I've noticed. And I think that's kind of what, you know, I'm also looking at the racial tension. I'm looking at, you know, the election stuff that has so much to do with it. It has a lot to do with it. I, I actually, in a lot of ways, I don't want to throw out conspiracy theories or anything, but, uh, and I'm not, I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking, but. There are things on my mind that makes me wonder why her, why now, why, why a black woman right now at this time where everything, like I keep talking about, the pot is stewing right now. I don't know if everything is always the way that it seems. I know it just happened. So I'm going to end that there. But. First of all, rest in peace to her. Second of all, like, it's not even words to say that this woman was unalive for no reason. In the safest place that she could possibly be, in her home, in her gown, head wrapped, and everything. How unsafe could she feel? There was the burglary call that she thought or felt or whatever. And we, none of us know. We don't know. They want to blame her shooting on her mental illness, which once again only works for black people. Because we know white people have mental illness too. We have everybody had mental illness, but black people being unalive for obvious mental health emergencies, mental health crisis is so prevalent and it's routine. Now we got body cams, black people still dying. Now we got accountability black people still dying it's 2024 black people still dying black people still dying for the same stuff they was dying for back in forever we could we could we could literally bring back the anthem of hands up don't shoot because she had her hands up and he shot she ducked down, afraid in fear. And he went around the corner to shoot her. How? And I'm not smiling. I'm not smiling because of happiness. I'm, I'm just smiling to make a point. How many times do we, have we seen that scenario play out unarmed black person let's 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 talk about the the unarmedness let's talk about the let, let's talk about white fear 
who white people say they're so terrified. They're so afraid for their life because that's literally his defense. Oh, she's going to throw hot boiling water on me. Even though I went over there and told her to pick it up. I told her to do it so that I could literally set her up and shoot her. That's my thoughts. But he was afraid for his life. How many times have we heard that defense? So, again, hands up, don't shoot. All of these slogans that we can say and we can bring back, and, and it caters to white fear. It caters to white people's fear of black, even though dude was huge. Have y'all seen how big that cop up? Dude was huge. I don't know his measurements, but he looks even on TV well over six feet. This is a big dude. This is a little small. That number wasn't even fat. A little small, confused, even according, I mean, we could see it in the video and according to what they said. She was acting confused. Okay. I don't personally see the threat. There was no threat. So he created a threat. But how often, I keep jumping off my point. How often has the fear for my life, fear of black people been used to justify unaliving black people in cold-blooded murder? Um, but yet they go to the fear. You ever notice that? The black white people be like, oh, I was so afraid, you know, it was a black man, you know, it was a, it was a little, it was a little black woman, but she was just so big and scary. And, you know, I didn't know what to do. I had to shoot them. I had to take them out. But I walked over there around the corner to make sure I, sh I, I unalived her. I get a headshot. That's what he said. Right through her eye. I did a headshot. Oh, she done. That's what he told his partner. Don't, don't, even, don't, look, don't, don't even worry about trying to go get nothing. That's a headshot. She did. And evidence has proved she wasn't dead. Uh, she could have been by the time. I mean, because the, the dude, he, he shot to kill her. Literally, period. He shot to kill her. So... Whether the partner went and got help and the ambulance came on time and all that, the chances of her making it were so slim at that point. So slim. But he was so afraid for his life. And like I say, despite the fact, we keep, you know, and, and people, it, it's so enraging, but it has to happen. They, they orchestrate it. They have these debates and stuff on TikTok. This is a clear case of, of, of unaliving a black person. Um, just clear. And I saw about two debates on TikTok. But what if he was afraid? But she did have the pot in her hand. But she did. We, we saw her step forward. She, she could have. In all of these could haves, in all of these, what the cop was thinking, and it's just like, y'all don't know what the cop is thinking. They had a, one of those uh, podcasts, they had an actual police officer who was talking about what that cop should have done in that situation. And people were still, the panel went quiet, but at least uh, it was about three Two, three or four people up on that panel. That panel got quiet so many times because that cop kept saying, but he should have done this. And but he went around there. And but he told her to go into the kit. Like there would have been no threat at all if he hadn't told her to go get boiling water off the stove. Like it, the most that that water would have done was completely evaporate and the pot would have started smoking, alarming, well, like all of that could have happened. But it, it, if she had not turned it off, like that's the, the worst that could have happened 
Yeah, there could have been a fire, but it's like three of y'all, three adults in the damn house. I don't see how that really could have, have could have happened because your partner could have went over there and turned it off. You could have went over there and turned it off. If you were afraid for your life of what she could possibly do with a hot thing about, why tell her to go over there to it unless she was trying to set her up because you was on a killer nigga day. You was in killer nigga mindset. I think he came to the door in killer nigga mindset. Why? Because they said, it, they were saying even when he came to the door, he was all hyped up and banging and and, and knocking on the door and just, be, he, he came there. And I want y'all to remember something else. I want y'all to go back to some of these Michael Browns and some of these other incidents of stuff of, you know, black people being unalived. And I want y'all to remember the state of many of these cops who have shot black people. Michaela Bryant. Remember Michaela Bryant? She is so special to my heart because not only was her death unwarranted, black people supported that shit without no evidence. All they said, oh, she was going to kill, she was going to kill another uh, another kid. She was going to kill another. I already went through that video way back then. I already gave the details. First of all, there wasn't no, no teenage girl. And second of all, that woman and the other full-grown woman both came over there with knives after her and her sister. But I'm not going to go through that again. But, Michaela Bryant, what happened with that cop? Jumped out of his car. He just shot. He literally jumped out of the car and just shot. I can't remember the baby's name. I always be trying to remember this little boy's name. But y'all remember the little black boy who was in the park. Playing with a water gun, fake gun, whatever. What the cops do? Jumped out and shot. Instinctively. Jumped out and shot. Uh, do y'all remember a few years ago when there was a group of black teens and it was something about them being in a pool, some white person, I think, called or whatever on the black kids or whatever. Uh, it was some Karen shit. Um, uh, and the cop, do y'all remember how when they pulled up, how that cop acted, dude literally got out of the car, jumped out of road. Literally did a stunt man in the movie type role, gun blazing on children. Children. So my point, that's three points, and there's been way many more. They already come to the scene hyped up in, in my mind, whether y'all like the way I say it or not, on some whole killer nigga mindset. That's how they, they already be hyped up. I don't know if they be on cocaine. I don't know what the hell be wrong with them. Maybe they're pumped up and excited. Oh, kill a nigga day. A kill a nigga moment. I don't know what it is. But if you look at the, 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 the background to these cops who kill, who unalive black people, they already be hyped up. They all, they, they come there hyped up. And then they fear for their life and da, da, da. and dude had that, that, that stuff ready to tell that lie. And in his case, and he ain't the only one, if y'all think that, in his case, DUIs, falsifying documents, and I can dare to believe that he was, he was falsifying documents more than likely on black people. Traffic stops and things like that. If y'all listen to what they got him on, those are the things that they got him on. Lying. Literally, he should have been a cop back in the 40s and the 50s because he probably should have could have got away with that shit. He probably could have got away with that shit because that was the mindset. It don't matter what I say. I killed a nigga. I'm a white man. I'm a cop. That's the end of the story. Well, hung jury. Couldn't come to a couldn't come to a decision. Well, sorry, black community. Sorry, nothing we can do about it. Cop said they did such and such. The cop killed them. Oh, well. 
but now we got body cams. Now, thankfully, we have a partner who called, who, who released the tape. People can say, oh, well, he only did that to save his behind. And I don't care why he did it. He did it. And I'm grateful that he did it. I will lock both of them up. Man, look, I don't know. I think his partner did a great job. I really do. Because any other partner who had let this mess go, and maybe he was afraid of getting caught. Maybe he was. I don't care. At the end of the day, his body cam showed the injustice of this lady's murder. And that's, that's all that matters to me. And, 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 and what's more, we don't know that guy's heart. We don't, we don't know, we don't know any of their hearts and what was in their mind, literally. But at the end of the day, whatever was in his heart and mind, guilt, fear, whatever, love, compassion, whatever, he did a good thing and it, and it helped. So I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him, but the internet world finds reasons to be mad, complain, fight, go against everything. So I, I'm not even paying attention to that. RIP, Sonia Massey. Um, I pray for her son. I pray for her family. I pray for her friends. I pray for those who, who loved her. Um, what can we say? When is it going to stop? What can we say? Just another unjust unaliving of a black person by unhinged white cop. And like I say, we can probably go through every year in this country, probably 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and find the same thing every year. I'm almost certain of it. It's just not talked about. It's not in the news. So, um, that's my, that's my take. That's my assessment on it. I'm going to end the video. Uh, horribly unfortunate. I don't know what we got to do. I really don't. I don't know what we got to do because as I said, we seem to be, <laughs> we seem to be on the chocolate, uh, chop, uh, the chopping block, the auction block, whatever, as far as being free range to not only humiliate, ridicule, unalive, steal from the culture vultures to like that we we just free we just free for any of that to happen to us with no justice behind it really you know we'll see what happens with this cop we know it was you know he got in trouble uh but we'll see with his sentencing what actually really happens i ain't gonna give no opinion on it i'm gonna wait and see you guys let me know what you think. You guys, let me know. Uh, you know, leave me a comment. Um, what do you think it's about? You know? Um, you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all notifications so that you know when I upload new videos. You guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you next time.